patriotic today because we are entering into the week of the 4th and there will not be a tech tip next week because it's the week of the 4th. Nobody's working. Do not work on the week of the 4th. Go do something else. But this week's tech tip is super fun. It's all about how to create HTML very easily. I'm going to give you a super quick and easy hack on creating HTML if you ever need to. Some places where this might come into handy are if you're wanting to insert an image into the widget area of your website or your blog, or you need to use HTML to insert something. Somebody sends you an image and you need to link it before you insert it. All of those things can be done by this little tip I'm going to show you today. Another thing is that I think that every online business owner needs to have a little bit of a knowledge of how to do these types of things just in case you ever need to. One of the big things that I've heard is that there are invoicing companies and signature companies and things like this that require you to use HTML if you're going to put a custom signature in your templates. So this is really going to help you there too. So let's get started and you're going to learn how to make HTML very easily. To create code the easy way, I want you to open up a post or page editor. This can be in Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, Blogger, WordPress, whatever platform you're using. Just open up a post or page editor. Okay, once you're in that, you want to make sure you're in the visual tab, just like you would normally write a blog post or edit a page, and you'll want to do whatever you want to do. So. Let's say I want to add a picture of myself for whatever reason, and I want it left aligned, and then I want to put some text next to it, and, you know, all the normal things. And then I want to link some of that text, and I want it to go to my URL. Um, I want to link this picture to my URL. Maybe I'm going to use this as a signature in some type of program. Okay, so eh, that's not quite how I want it to look. Let's make me a little smaller. Yeah, okay, so that's better. Now I want to add a Facebook link and a Twitter, just whatever. Okay, so you get the point. You're going to set this up just like you would for editing a post or editing a page. Once you have it all ready and everything's linked how you want it and you know it looks exactly like you want it, then I want you to switch over to the text editor part and I want you to just grab, oops, I want you to just grab all of that code and copy it. That code will get you this result anywhere you go. So if you copy this code into a sidebar widget or into a signature, an HTML signature block, you will get what you see here. Easy, right? So do it in the visual part, switch over to text and grab the code, and then use it as you need it. 